Hello there. So it's again, it's winter time. So we're gonna uh, stick with uh, Jan Brett. She likes her snow. And uh, this one is very similar to one we did a little bit ago. Remember the, the mitten? I think I'm here. The mitten? Well, this time we have The Hat by Jan Brett. Now, don't forget, watch the borders because there's always something going on in the borders and a lot of times it gives you a clue as to what's going to happen next. Okay. <clears throat> Winter was on the way. Lisa took her woolen clothes out of the chest and carried them outside. So when you're going out in the cold, uh, clothes made of wool help keep you warm. She was hanging them up in the fresh air when a strong wind blew one of her stockings off the line. Notice there. Oh, oh, oh. So you see that sock there? Whoosh. I wonder if she noticed. <coughs> Curious Hedgy found it and poked his nose in. When he pulled it out, the stocking was stuck on his prickles. Oh, how embarrassing, Hedgy thought. The mother hen came by with her chicks. Cackle, cackle, she clucked and laughed. What's that on your head, Hedgy? Uh, why, that's my new hat, he told her. Isn't it beautiful? The mother hen cocked her head as if she had an idea. Then off she ran. Do you think he really meant it as a hat, or is he just coming up with an excuse? I skipped a page. Yep, oh, almost skipped a page. Hedgy saw the noisy gander looking down at him. Honk, honk, ho, 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 the gander laughed. Look at that, the hedgehog has flipped his gizzard. Laugh today, gander, but tomorrow when it rains, my hat will keep me dry. The gander thought for a moment, and off he ran. Now, is it actually a hat? No, oh, it's a sock. Oh, who's coming next? I have to be careful when I turn the pages so I don't skip one. The barn cat was watching from a tree as Hedgy tugged at the stocking. Meow, he called down. What a silly looking hedgehog you are with that thing on your head. Ah, but my ears will be warm in a snowstorm. Mmm, purred the cat. And off he ran. The farm dog and her puppies found Hedgy in a patch of brambles. Hedgy, is that a hat you're wearing? How funny you look, she barked, and her puppies yelped and giggled. But I'll be cozy and dry when it snows, Hedgy said. The farm dog's ears perked up, and off she ran. Oh, who's coming next? <laughs> The piglet squealed. What are you up to, Hedgy? The mama pig asked. Making sure my hat doesn't fall off in a knife if an icy wind blows up. I see, said the mama pig. And off she ran. Uh, 
Hedgy, what is that ridiculous thing on your head? The pony snorted at Hedgy. That was the last straw. It's my hat, of course. Don't you know that everyone should wear a hat in winter when it's cold and snowy? Hedgy shouted. He's kind of getting irritated here. The pony looked startled. Hedgy was usually so friendly. And off you ran. Huh. Hmm. Hedgy just wanted to be alone. He was tired of everyone laughing at him. And with this thing on his head, he wouldn't even fit into his den. Hmm. Hadn't thought about that. Does look kind of cold out there, doesn't it? He didn't see Lisa running after him, the other stocking in her hand. Come back, you silly hedgehog, she called. Oh no, Hedgy thought, even the girl is laughing at me. Do you think Lisa wants to laugh at him? I don't think so. Lisa caught up and pulled her stocking off Hedgy's head. You ridiculous little hedgehog, she laughed. Don't you know that animals don't wear clothes? Hedgy headed for his den and Lisa started back toward the clothesline. That's when she saw all of her missing woolens. Uh-oh. The animals had taken them and each one was thinking, now I am wearing a magnificent hat. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the chicken's got a glove there and the... The goose has an actual hat, and cat's got the scarf, and a sweater, and a vest, and oh my gosh, those crazy animals. And here they were making fun of Hedgy. Lisa was still chasing them when Hedgy reached his den. Ha! How ridiculous they look. Don't they know that animals should never wear clothes? <laughs> now, we had the, the pictures on the sides in the border that gave us predictions, right? I want you to look. There was also pictures up at the top in the border. And I'm not going to show all of them. but So remember, Lisa was hanging her clothes up on the clothesline. So there, you can see all of them, right? And each page... Something goes missing. Each page. I'll flip a few more pages here. Oh, look at that one. There's just a few things left. And then we get towards the end. And nothing. Just a couple of birds sitting up there. So, yeah. Jam Brett books are great. Lots going on. You can read them again and again and again and almost always see something new. So, all right. Stay warm. Put on a hat.